Oh my gosh. Hey. Oh, my we each Peter, have so one. I guess I'm yeah. here. Hello, Amanda, host number 14. Game Plan has a challenge for you, and we hope you're keen. Be lazy or off sync, and you will go slow. But help those around you, and you'll win many times in a row. Hey, hello there, Jules. You're in for a treat. You won't need shoes, and you won't need your feet. Since you're in love with being under the sea, eh? at least for a day, part of that. Oh! Oh my God! They're gonna make you hear Part of that world. <laughs> I get it. I get it, dude. What's up, Ton? Are you ready to fly? Power and precision will help you go high. Be quick on your feet and don't make a sound. And try your best not to fall on the ground. Oh my god. Okay, let's find out. Come on, let's just... Okay, yeah. Alright, just okay. So I'm here at Manila Bay. It's early in the morning. And guess what my challenge is? Dragon Boat. Oars up. Roll. One, two, three, four. Can you tell us a little bit about Manila Dragon and how did you guys start? The Manila Dragons is actually 23 years old. It's one of the pioneer dragon boat teams here in the Philippines. So we're a bunch of young professionals, students. We've got some senior citizens. Wait, did you say senior citizens? Yes. Oh that's my god. That's right. Our oldest member is uh, Tita Edith. She actually just turned 62 last week. Dragon boat's pretty much low maintenance in terms of a sport. The only thing you really need is a typical paddle. So this is the typical standard size dragon boat paddle. What can I expect? It's going to be right. like my well, first for, time. For first timers, we actually walk you through the very basic steps of how the proper strokes are. There's some commands that you'd have to carefully listen to so you know what kind of stroke you actually need to do. Power law! A dragon boat is all about being synchronized and paddling in unison. Right. You could go paddle to the finish line together with the same endurance and with the same intensity. So I'm ready, I'm psyched. Let's get on the boat. But before anything else, of course, I had to do this one thing. Check this out. I'm training with the Manila Dragons today. Wait till you see what I'm doing. Mermaid swimming is basically swimming like a mermaid. So I have the equipment here. With mermaid swimming, basically you get to wear the whole outfit. So it comes with like, we have this monofin thing right here. So the, this goes on your feet. Yeah. And then you get really good propulsion by kicking the water with this one. And of course, it's not just this. You have our, our outfit for the mermaid <laughs> swimming here. So this is so Ariel. <laughs> so you can wear this. It's really, really challenging. It's not an easy thing. Oh, wear it then smile for the camera. It's not that easy. You're gonna feel the, the burn in some areas. And, but you're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna really like it. You might do a repeat session. Can't wait to uncover the hidden merman in me. The Ninja Academy is the first and biggest indoor parkour facility in the Philippines. Parkour is a creative and functional movement of overcoming obstacles. Parkour has movements like running, jumping, climbing, swinging, rolling, and of course for the advanced uh, users, doing flips or tumbling. You just, if you can run, if you can jump, then basically you can do parkour. We have this gauntlet class na integrate namin yung parkour movements plus circuit training. Squat down, then do this. So you just hang on to this for 20 seconds. Okay. Hold on. As many as you can, as fast as you can. That's it. Go, oh, push up, push up. There you go. Push. All right, focus. Almost done, wow. almost done. Man, that was tiring. I do body weight stuff, but that was tiring. I wonder if Jules is having this much fun. Philippine blue whale swimming in his unnatural habitat. He searches for food. I wonder what Tila Amanda and Ton are doing. Bro! Oh. Bro! Legs boat, legs boat. 
when, when you pull from, from this far, yeah. hanggang dito lang sa may after the knee lang. Oh, okay. <laughs> we sure are having fun learning the basics, so our coaches thought it was time to level up. So stick around to find out the challenges that await us through. To really have the full Dragon Boat experience, you have to go participate in a race. To be a real ninja, you have to take on our gauntlet challenge and our salmon ladder challenge. To be a true mermaid, you have to swim with grace, keep your eyes open, and just make sure that you know, you're really, really pretty and long and graceful. I'm really, really pretty, long, and graceful. My name is Julian Rodriguez, and I'm a merman. 